two of the same Hogbuster suits. Why would you ever choose this over the other? Well, for this suit, I can do this. Friday, activate disrespect protocol. Disrespect protocol activated. Disrespect. Hello and welcome back to another review on the Ken OE channel. Today we'll be bringing back the OG figure of the Hulkbuster. The one that started it all. The SH Figure Arts Iron Man Mark 44 aka the Hulkbuster. I do have to note that this is a pre-owned figure and even though it's a second-hand figure, it's still quite an expensive figure. This figure, brand new, would set you back around 500 to 600. Whoa, that's expensive. It's already clear that this is a smaller version of the recently reviewed 3.0 Hulkbuster figure just from looking at the box. But is it a better figure than the 3.0? Let's take a closer look. I have to get this out of the way first, because in due time, this will happen to your Hulkbuster figure whether you like it or not, or it would happen to any other Hulkbuster figure, especially ones with die-cast metal. Because there's so many heavy parts, it has caused this figure to be quite loose, such as the arms, the bicep area, the torso, and the knees. Thankfully, this figure can still stand on its own and can hold some poses, but it does take a bit of patience. In terms of overall looks, while this figure looks really good, I feel like it's a slightly slimmed down version from what's represented in the movies. I understand the reason why they did that is to allow more room for movement, since if they follow the movie's design to the T, where it's a lot chunkier and bulkier, we wouldn't have as much articulation on this figure as it did. But that does slightly compromise on how accurate this figure looks. For example, the shoulder guards, the upper body just isn't as chunky or as wide due to the scale, it's a lot more compressed. However, as an overall look and design, I still think this figure looks really good. And it comes pretty close to how it looks in the movies, which says a lot considering Figure Art's track record in recent years on using concept images, which then looks nothing like what's eventually shown in the movies. For articulation, this was Figure Art's at its peak, because at the time, for a figure of this scale, size, and design, they managed to give us an articulated Hulkbuster figure, which was impressive. Again, at the time. So for the head, it's packed to a hinge which at the end is also ball packed so head does the twisting no problem, can do the side to side pivots. The neck is also on a joint so it helps with the movement of the head, so plenty of head movement there. There's a butterfly joint that goes outwards and upwards, shoulder guard can move up and down, arms are on a ratchet joint so it can do the 360 and the ratchet helps the arm stay in place. He's got the beautiful bicep swivel, double jointed elbow and as you flex his biceps, you can see some mechanics moving. His forearm piece here can move up and down. The wrist can twist and he has an extra long joint so you can have Hulkbuster do his repulsive blast stance. And he has articulated fingers. Thumb has one hinge and on a ball joint at the end while the others have two hinges and a ball joint at the end. For his torso, he's only got one joint which is at the bottom ab and this is responsible for all the side to side pivots, the twisting and all together he can't really arch backwards but he can at least do some crunching. Another Hulkbuster who can crunch? Well done there. The legs can be pulled down but not much and it is also on a ratchet joint but due to how bulky this whole thigh is, he can only kick up that much which really isn't much at all, he can't really kick back just a very small split. He's got a bit of a thigh swivel. He can bend his knees a little as well and doing that makes some pieces move, which is nice as always. There's a feet guard which can move around and out of the way. Feet can do the twist a bit, pivot side to side a bit, move up and down a bit. And he has the Hulkbuster toe curlers. So even though it is an articulated Hulkbuster figure, 
the bottom half is unfortunately a lot more limited than the upper half. Unfortunately for accessories, there isn't any, which is a shame, but it has light up features, so let's talk about that. The head can be pulled out to reveal a switch at the bottom and it uses two LR41 batteries to get it to work. For the back, you can pull this back piece out and you have to unscrew this plate to put in another LR41 batteries. And for the legs, you have to remove this piece at the calf, which similar to the torso, you have to unscrew the plate, put in two fresh LR41 batteries, and once you have everything in place and you switch everything on, well, you get lights. Voila! Unfortunately, all of the lights are only at the front and nowhere else. Nothing on the back, not on the palm. What you see here is what you get, and it's nice. Though I wish there was more, I'm still grateful we got a figure that can light up. I still wish we got lighting on the palm so we could illuminate that disrespect. And here we have the SH Figure Arts Iron Man Mark 44 aka Hulkbuster figure standing next to other action figures for scale comparison. So in summary, at the time, this figure was a masterpiece. It was in my list for the longest time and at the end of the day, I'm really glad I got my hands on this figure. Unfortunately, it's plagued by loose joint issues which will eventually happen to a lot of figures with this kind of weight. but. It's still a one-of-a-kind figure, and I'm glad I finally have one to add to my collection. This was figure arts at its best, and it shows. However, is it better than the 3-0 Hulkbuster? Well, you know what's coming next, so don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode. With that all said, thank you all very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts about this figure in the comment section down below, insta buy or insta pass. I'd like to know your thoughts. Until the next review, take care and have a great week. Like to see more videos like this one? Well, say no more. Let me present to you the end screen. Click on video 1 or video 2 for more entertainment. These videos were carefully selected by highly trained professionals to suit your entertainment needs. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button. If you don't, I shall haunt you in your sleep. So click it! I was just kidding by the way. Okay, bye!